shoplifting is an unfortunate reality of brick and mortar retail life, but there are ways that you can minimize the opportunities of theft and improve your safety. Keep watching to learn what shoplifters don't want you to know so that you can better prevent it and what you should and should not do if you've identified a shoplifter in your store. Hey there, I'm Kathy Donovan Wagner, founder of Retail Mavens and mom of America's Most Fun Family. It's true, we won a contest. My mission is to help independent retailers improve their profits and sleep better. And gosh, if you haven't already, make sure that you hit subscribe below and click the bell so that you'll get notifications every time I share more retail tips and strategies with you. Brick and mortar retail stores should not see an inventory variance greater than 2% of their sales. What that means is that when you do your physical inventory and you compare your physical count to what your point of sale says, that difference, that inventory variance should be less than 2% of your sales. So taking your yearly sales, multiplying it times 2%, it should be less than that. And while most theft is sadly committed by team members, shoplifting is a very real issue. I know, I experienced it too. This video is gonna help you reduce those risks. We reached out to theft prevention officer, Joe, who gave us these helpful tips that shoplifters do not want you to know so that you could reduce your incidence of shoplifting and stay safe, most importantly. I have four tips for you. Number one, thieves do not want to be recognized. Officer Joe suggests that you greet everyone who comes into the store, that you make eye contact and you open up conversation with them. Not only is it providing the excellent customer service that I know you're known for, it also puts shoplifters on notice that you're watching them, that you know what's going on in your store. Number two, how to discourage shoplifters? You can use signage. He suggests putting signage on your front door saying, smile, you're on camera, even if you don't have cameras. He also suggests having signs outside your shop about your security systems if you use them. He says that those ADT signs signs outside houses really do deter thieves. Additionally, you could have a sign on your store reminding customers to make sure their cars are locked. And listen, if someone walks in with a huge tote bag and you suspect that they might be putting items in there with the intent to steal them, don't hesitate to ask them if you can hold their bag for them at the front counter. Really, it makes it easier for them to shop so you can just come at it from that place. Are you experiencing a rash of sticky fingers, <laughs> like Officer Joe called it? If you have a sign at your front door alerting customers that there's an increase in shoplifting in the area. The sign helps get customers on board to help you out. Plus, it lets shoplifters know that you're alert and watching. Number three, what to do if you have a shoplifter in your store? Officer Joe's top tip was don't confront them. Don't. Remember that the person that's committing the crime is very likely trying to get money for drugs. He said that's not a stereotype. It's true. The person might not be in their right mind. The drug might be controlling them. So do not confront them at any time. Notice what they're wearing, especially anything that could identify them. Get a license plate number, if possible, and call 911. Don't be afraid to call the police. The police know that you're only reaching out when you think there's something wrong, when something isn't right. So call Call them. And if you notice that your store has been broken into, do not enter. Call 911 and stay in your car away from the store. I love the fourth tip he gave us. Use a code phrase to alert your team that something suspicious is going on. A client of ours, she's a yarn store and she used the phrase yellow yarn because not many people like yellow yarn. So right away, if any team members hear that phrase, they know something suspicious is happening and they'll be more alert. So to recap Joe's four tips. Number one, thieves don't want to be recognized so greet them. Number two, you can discourage shoplifters with signage and if they come in with a large bag, asking to hold the large bag for them so they can have a better time shopping. Number three, if you have a shoplifter in your store, do not confront them call 911. And number four was using a code phrase to alert your team. Share this video so other retailers and team members know what to do to stay safe. And don't forget to click the subscribe button below so you can keep seeing helpful strategies that will help you improve your sales, sleep better, and become a richer retailer.